y'all? This be your boy Scotty, and you're watching another episode. But the bottom line is on YouTube. As you can see, I'm going through. I'm trying to get over a hangover right now, and I got real fucked up last night. Acted the damn food show my ass, and this is why I'm paying for it. I'm paying for the shit right now, so bear with me. Um. <clears throat> Since the um the housewives is gone and the basketball wives are, are really basically gone and it was number the clip show today I ain't even gonna talk about them and it don't look like I'm gonna have much to talk about this week anyway because all the shows are on hiatus or whatever and I'll probably on the show I'm gonna be able to talk about it the game which I did not talk about last week but I'm just gonna throw in a couple of things that I've been reading and what I've heard about and I just had to get up with the hangover and all and do this video because of the simple fact one of my friends just told me that peep they are talking about doing um a remake of the bodyguard the movie with kevin cosner and with in the queen whitney houston and from what i heard rihanna is Considered to play the role that Whitney played, and I'm just gonna tell y'all this: that's a crock of bullshit. She should not be considered to even play that motherfucking role at all. She should never be considered to play that role. It should be a person that that can actually sing, and someone who is a queen, or at least close to being a queen and Rihanna is nobody's queen Rihanna is nobody's vocalist and she should never play anything or touch anything that Whitney does and I'm sorry I just don't like Rihanna and I just really believe that bitch should never play nothing that Whitney ever touched hell I feel like she shouldn't even if they ever did a remake of um way next hell she shouldn't even play Savannah that's just how I feel Rihanna should never play in a remake of the bodyguard she could she should never and she could never she could never be the queen Whitney Houston she should never play that I'm sorry but that's just my personal opinion if you really understand want to come at me I don't give a damn because I don't like this bitch I just don't think that she should be playing no damn role like that and then Rihanna playing that no I disagree I disagree with, I just disagree with that, with everything, and it's just, it's just making me, it just makes me sick just to even think about her playing it, and no, Rihanna should never, first of all, they shouldn't even be remaking the movie, first of all, and Rihanna shouldn't even be considered to even play the role, according to my friend, based on what she read, she's being considered to play the role, they're not, they haven't picked who they want to play the role yet, but Rihanna shouldn't even be considered, and she shouldn't be in the same sentence as Whitney Houston. So, that's a no-no. Anyway, Twitter beats. One thing I'm going to say is that two people, it, it's been four different celebrities in Twitter beats over the past 72 hours. Sierra versus Rihanna. And Keisha Cole and K. Michelle. Now, first of all, I want to say this: Twitter is like a safe haven for a lot. It's like a safe haven for a lot of people. You talk all this shit on Twitter, and half of it is beat to people that you do not know. And then people get so mad about the tweets that you tweet, and then they want to get upset and make subliminal tweets and talk shit and all that. And it's kind of crazy to me. And I've had people unfollow me based on comments that they really did not like or particularly care for, which I'm not mad at them about. You know what I'm saying? If you don't like what I got to say, you already know to unfollow me and do what you believe. Sometimes I don't unfollow them back, but... You know, if somebody don't follows me half the time, I don't even unfollow them. But if they, if they still get on my nerves, I'm gonna unfollow them just like I did a couple of days ago. <clears throat> but I think people need to quit because some people that I follow on Twitter is trying to, you know, get shit going for no apparent reason. You know what I'm saying? Like some people just tweet celebrities just to start shit. And the stuff with Sierra and Rihanna, I don't even know how that happened. Because, mind you, all that shit went on while I was out getting drunk again. That was Friday night when all that happened. 
Sierra and Rihanna had some words because of a comment that Sierra made at a damn fashion thing saying that Rihanna was rude. And I do believe that that bobblehead bitch is rude. But Sierra never should have said the shit on TV. She should have just been there for what she was being there for, which was fashion. She shouldn't even brought up Rihanna weak ass name in the first place. So that's the end of that and her and Rihanna had words and then everybody got tried to get in on Monica ass for even saying something for telling Sierra to call her and I just thought that was real stupid why y'all coming for Monica and Brandon all they all Monica did was tell Sierra to call her Sierra's like a little sister to her she was not getting involved in the motherfucking beef neither was Brandy all they said was positivity when nobody come First of all, I can see if Monica was going in on Rihanna, but Monica didn't say not a damn word to Rihanna. And all you bitches out here talking about she ain't been relevant since the 90s. The bitch just got two Grammy nominations. She got a damn um, BET award over the past year. She ain't got a gold album with two R&B hits. The bitch is here and she ain't going on motherfucking where, so shut the fuck up. If she wanted to talk to Sierra in private about what's going on, she can. They've been sisters from the for the longest and... Sierra always looked at Monica as her big sister, and Monica always looked at Sierra as her little sister, so of course she's going to tell her to call her. Shut the fuck up. Just shut the fuck up. Anyway, then you got K. Michelle and Keisha Cole, and this all started with a tweet, and me and this guy had, had some back and forth yesterday because he felt like I was coming for him, which I wasn't. Not, I was never coming for him, but he made it. It was a tweet about her with her boobs and as we all may know that Keisha Cole was on media takeout for exposing her boobs or whatever and she made and she and Kim Michelle leaked her own photo of boobs and she said that this is the way you say a records he he like making a joke about it and some Keisha Cole fans thought that was throwing shade at Keisha Cole which she wasn't because I've been following K. Michelle for the last year and she always have said that you gotta show titties to get success. She said that on a previous video that she did when she was in the studio doing her mixtape. I've seen the video before. She said that shit once before. So why do people always make it, make it, you know, assume that this is shade at Keisha Cole and this is what p pisses me off. You know what I'm saying? It's just, um, like... People always compare those two anyway. And for this to happen, goes to show you that there's going to be a fan war between Keisha Cole fans and K. Michelle fans. And the K. Michelle fans went in on people. They went hard. But my thing is, what fool for thought, this Twitter beef shit is so stupid. Whatever you got to say to a motherfucker, you need to say it to their motherfucking face. That's all I got to say. Because whatever I say on Twitter, I can say it off Twitter too. So it really don't make me no difference. And I don't live on Twitter like everybody else. And everybody, you need to understand, most people need to understand that if somebody's making a tweet and it's similar to yours, don't take it as somebody is throwing subliminals at you or someone is talking about you. Because you have to understand that people are following other people in it might be a coincidence that, you know, you're talking about the same thing, a this and then a third, but, you know, it is what it is, though. Um, I just think that this Twitter shit is going to get somebody hurt one of these days. It's, it's really crazy. Um, is there anything else I need to talk about? Well, I, I don't know, but I think this is it. I think this is all I'm going to talk about. Um, as far as Miss Hello Kitty is concerned, I talked to her on the phone yesterday. Her car was totaled, as a matter of fact. I didn't know all the details when I did the video. Um, when I did the video Saturday morning. Her car was totaled. And all she got was a busted lip. If it wasn't for the, from the airbag. Because if it wasn't for the airbag, she probably would have died. And the woman that hit her was an old bitch. An old bitch hit her or whatever. So... Um, Miss Hello Kitty is fine. If you want to tweet her, you can. www.twitter.com slash Miss Hello with a zero kitty. K-I-T-T-I. -T 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 if you can't understand what I'm saying, I'm going to post it at the bottom of the video so you can see for yourself. Um, I think that's all I'm going to talk about for now. So, I'm at this bitch at 5, 4, 3, 2, motherfucking 1. Hopefully, I get over this hangover and I'm out. Peace.